Hello everybody! In this third video of our small tutorial series on creating a health system in Unity, we will create an armor system where you can pick up armor and absorb incoming damage. Before we start with the armor system, let's make things easier by displaying the amount of health the player currently has. I recommend doing that, it will make everything easier because we can actually see the armor system working. Create a text and I will actually create a text mesh pro text because this looks a lot better than the standard text. Place it wherever you want it to be, I just placed it right on the health bar. Then go into your player stat script and create a reference to the text. Since I created a text mesh pro text, I need to write using text mesh pro at the top. To create a reference to the text, write public text mesh pro UGUI and reference it in the inspector. Then in the update function, set the text to the current health. You can as well display the max health of the player to make it look even better. Ok, now we can see how many health the player currently has in game. Let's now go on to the actual armor system. Create a script named armor system and attach it to the player. Create a private float protection amount. Then create a public function named calculate damage which will return a float. This method will calculate the amount of damage the player will get when he gets hit by a bullet. It takes an amount as an argument which will be the damage the bullet deals. This equation right here will return the damage divided by the protection amount seen as percentages. So if the protection amount is for example 20, you will take 20% less damage. Then just round it so you can get a clean number and return the final amount. Go into the take damage function of the player stat script and call this function. To do that, you need to create a reference to the armor system script. Since the scripts are on the same object, you can get the component the same way as you did with the status effect script. Then just decrease the player's health by the final amount. Let's also display the protection amount on the UI so that the player can see how much damage he absorbs. We are gonna do it the same way we did in the beginning with the health amount. Create a text mesh pro text, create a reference to it and set the text to the amount in the update function. Now, when you set the protection amount to for example 50, the player will get 50% less damage. But you cannot actually see any armor or pick up armor parts, so let's change that. In the armor system script, create a function called addArmor. This will take in a float amount and a game object prefab as arguments. Set the protection amount equal the amount passed in. To clear things up, let's create an empty game object named armor holder and create a reference to it. Then set the armor holder as the parent of the prefab and set the position of the prefab equal the player position so that the armor part follows the player. Ok, we have the logic for picking up armor. To actually pick up something, we first need armor. I just duplicated the player, increased the size a little bit and changed the color so it looks like the player has armor on its body, but you can of course create your own assets. Make sure to add a collider to your armor part and make it a trigger. Then add a script name for example armor part. Here we first need a float for the protection value. Then we want to check if the object collides with the player, just as we did in the previous videos. If it does, get the armor system component and call the add armor function. Ok, now you can pick up armor, absorb damage and everything is working, except one thing. When you collect another armor part, the previous equipped part will not be removed and you have two armor parts on your player, which looks kind of weird. To fix that, go into the add armor function Look through the children of the armor holder game object, which will be all of the armor parts currently on the player and destroy every one of them. Now you have a working armor system where you can pick up armor parts and absorb damage. If this video was helpful, giving a like would be very appreciated. Also if you liked this small tutorial series, let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.